platforms. But then when you use it in this kind of surface, you know, imagine, let's see, I'm a terrible DJ and we have mm -hmm. limited list selection, but let's do what we can. For example, you know, in, in this, this size and with the multi-touch enabled, you know, this app actually you know, makes much more sense and it's kind of like comes back to life. Mm -hmm. And then you can... Yeah. So all the things, imagine a DJ like working on this, you know, like basically pretty pretty like you can try it like it's actually like the sensitivity is yeah. what you would expect you know like from a tablet so in that sense there's nothing that you cannot do uh, so this is a normal Android app but kind of like coming back coming into a different kind of light in this device but then with that in mind we did in Japan we had like a hackathon with app developers and then we asked them we showed them the device you know we showed them well, we talk a little bit about it with them, and then we ask them, do you think you can make apps with this in mind, you know, and enable something a little bit more interesting? And then they came up with this app that I really like. It's really simple, but it's for kids. Uh, it's a game. Let me turn up the volume a little bit. Anyway. <laughs> well, he wants to be loud. Usually this is the bottom probably to get. Don't worry about yeah. it. No, it's still a okay. sample for sure. But what we did is that they developed this game. It's like a math game for like a quiz, you know, like like fast response. So we have the UI on all three sides. So imagine like the kids are around the, at this kind of table. We can compete. So it's a, a speed game. So if you know the answer, you have to do it before me. <laughs> <laughs> I see you don't want to play too. <laughs> go, go. So, ah, let's play one more game. So see, like, it's a very simple concept, but what we're trying to do is like, how can we make use of the fact that people, you know, thank you guys. Okay. <laughs> how can we make use of the fact that people like to, you know, gather around in this screen and like yeah. to, uh, to, 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 to even enhance that? So, that's only one example. Mm -hmm. We're actually encouraging people in Japan and maybe further you can do, we can probably do that same in mm -hmm. other areas, you know, mm -hmm. to try to do this. Yes. That doesn't mean that this app will be probably like only mm -hmm. for projector, mm -hmm. you know, we don't, mm -hmm. we don't envision that yet. Mm -hmm. But you can develop an Android with this in mind and it's a very open platform, so you can imagine the possibilities are quite big. So anyway, like for, for this kind of thing, you know, when we're doing testing, we thought that families really like to imagine like the small kid and the parents. You know, imagine parents, you know, they're techie, they're in their late thirties and they have a kid that's like four or five and then they can just sit around the, the, the coffee table and then teach the kid, you know, like when they're using this at the same time. So it's pretty, pretty straightforward, you know? Yeah, that's good, that's nice. We're not saying that they only use it for education, but of course, we like but it's one of the uses. Gather, you know? yeah, so it can yeah. be gathering for music, gathering for education, gathering for playing cards. Uh, playing cards. <laughs> gathering, oh, actually, one thing that we like also, I didn't install any, is that board games. Yeah. Because when you put it in the middle, we start playing Risk, and then we just sit there and play Risk for like 10 <laughs> hours all together. So you can imagine that kind of possibility. And then maybe. Uh,